Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover some frequently asked equals and hash code interview questions. The way to override equals and hash code is covered in the previous video. In this video, we are going to focus only and only on interview questions. So let's get started. Please like, share and subscribe to support us. And we are setting a like target of 500 likes. Just to refresh what is equals method used for, what is hash code method used for, what is get, what is put, what is hash table, what is bucket, what is entry. And then we will jump to why to override hash code method. Hash code method is overridden to decide the right bucket in the hash table where your object is to be put. Just for an example, this is our, this was our hash table. Suppose you have three keys that you have to put 10, 20 and 30. Suppose your hash function is k% percentile 10. Then during the put operation, you will put 10, comma some value. Then 10 percentile 10 will become 0 and 10 will be stored as an entry object which is the key value and the pointer to the next element. So if you can see this whole node in the linked list, the first node in the linked list becomes an entry object. Secondly, when you try to put 20 with the key as 20 value as something and the pointer to the next is currently null and the 20 percentile 10 becomes 0 again, then it will be the second node of the linked list. And when the threshold is reached after Java 1.8, this linked list will be converted to a tree. And hence, when you try to put 10, 20, 30, it will be on the 0th location of the bucket and the bucket number will be decided by the hash code and the exact value while retrieving or while get operation when you try to get 20, it will be passing this linked list or tree in the bucket number 0 and will see whether this key is equal to 10. Is it equals? No, 10 is not equals to 20. It will not return you. It will go ahead. It will check whether 20 is equal to 20. Yes, I want to get 20. The value will be written from the second node of the linked list or the second node from the tree. So that is how put and get value worked. This was just a high overview. The hook, Java code for this is already covered in the first part of this video. The link will be given in the description below. This hash table. So hash table consists of buckets. So there are n number of buckets in a hash table where the objects are stored. So bucket is array list or tree. The tree comes into picture after Java 1.8 when the, we have to increase the performance because the worst performance of linked list is order of n but the tree of order of login which is better than n. Entry objects, the node in the linked list of the tree stored in a bucket when the two or three elements have a collision. They are stored in the linked list of the tree format in the hash tables bucket. So entry is the linked list object which contains information about key value and the next pointer. And the next pointer points to the next entry object in the linked list or the tree. So that was all about the hash table. Now, why do you need to override the hash code method? So hash code method helps you to find the exact bucket location where the entry object will be stored in the bucket. So if I say get 20, then this get method calls the object's hash code method to find the bucket number where this particular entry object with the key 20 will be stored. So the hash code function called is k% 10, that is 20 percentile 10, that is 0. So hash code will give you the exact location where object must be stored. If hash code is overridden properly, we will find the bucket location using the hash code method. We will obtain the entry object on the bucket location and then iterate over each and every entry object by calling the entry.next and check whether the key which you are trying to find is equal or not. If the key is equal, return it. If it is not equal, go to the next. So while retrieving, it checks. Does 10 equals 20? No. It will go to next. Is 20 equals 20? Yes, return it. So the equals method which is required to fetch the exact entry object from the linked list or the tree. That's where equals is important. So we have already covered why equals is important. Once we have located the exact bucket location in our linked list or the tree, our entry object will be stored at which node will be decided by equals method. So when you try to get 20, it's the equals method which will run upon each and every entry object's key to return the value when the key, both the keys that you're trying to get and the key stored in the entry object is same. What if we don't override equals and hash code method? So what is the consequences if you're, you are not overriding the hash code method properly? So if there is a custom object and you are not overriding the hash code, then the hash code is calculated by object's memory address. Memory address is hexadecimal number. Hexadecimal number starts with something like 0x, a, f, 0, 6, something like this. So this is your something example of hexadecimal number. Suppose when you do not override the hash code, then the hash code is calculated from this particular memory address. And it might return you 5. But your key is 20. It must be stored at 0th location. And don't override the hash code method. 
it will return you say suppose 5 so it will go and try to fetch it from the fifth location the 20th key or it will try to put it fifth location though it should be put at zeroth location so when you try to call the put method and you do not have the proper hash code then you try to put 20 it will return you 5 and your object that is a key value pair with 20 comma value should be stored at zeroth location it might have been stored at fifth position so which is bad which is why you should not forget overriding the hash code there can be a second case too when you try to put entry object into the hash table if the keys are same what is expected is that it should override the previous one but if you have not overridden the hash code properly then a different hash code is generated for 20 and rather than going here and overriding this 20 with a new value it will create another entry object with 20 comma value at some different bucket location that is why there is a duplicacy of same key at different locations other than overriding the original one so there might be a possibility that same entry will be stored at multiple locations if the key is same we might expect to override the existing object which might not happen and same key will be present at two different locations secondly when it comes to get method and there is a different hash code generated so suppose that we are trying to get 20 but we have not overridden hash code and it returns your fifth bucket you try to go and find here do we have a key named as 20 it will return you no and even though it is present in your hash table it will return you false and you will not be able to get the value of 20. So there is a possibility that hash code might return a different hash code and rather than searching on the exact bucket location where your key already exists it might search the key on some other bucket location and hence even though key exists but still you will not be able to locate that in the bucket in which it is stored. Now what will happen if you do not override equals correctly? Though you will be able to find the correct bucket location if hash code is overridden correctly but still if you don't override the equals method correctly then there will be two conditions. There will be a put method problem and get method problem. When you try to put 20 on the bucket location, hash code is overridden properly. It will be stored at 0th location. Great. But second time, if you try to put it again, the hash code will again go to 0th location. But if you have not overridden equals method, then the object 20 key might have the different memory address. In that case, you will not be able to see that this particular entry object with the key 20 is equal to the one you are trying to put that is again 20 comma value because equals won't work it while traversing the linked list will not be able to find whether this particular key is equal to the key that you are trying to put again. Since they are not equal you will again end up adding one more entry object after 30 with a key 20 and value a new value. So rather than overriding the previous one you are you are ending up to add one more entry object at the end with the same key that is 20. So that is the worst part of not overriding equals properly. With the get method, if you don't override equals properly, then since hash code is properly generated and is working fine, you will reach at the perfect bucket location. That is 20 percentile tell will give you zero and you will reach at the start of this particular linked list. But now what matters is when there is a long linked list, then equals method is required to compare your key. So you are trying to get 20. Is 20 equals to 10? No. Go to the next. Now, if you have not overridden equals properly, then 20 might not be equal to 20 and you will again go next. And 30 is obviously not equal to 20 and you will reach null and you will return false that you did not find anything with a key as 20. So, you won't be able to compare two keys and you will call the entry.next entry.test until end and ultimately you will reach null and you will return false and hence even though the key existed in the hash map but still you will not be able to retrieve it you will surpass it so it's important to override both equals and hash code equals for uh, checking the equality of two keys and hash code for reaching at the perfect bucket location in the hash table if that much is clear let's quickly cover if two objects have same hash code are they always equal so give me an answer from here. I have 10, 20 and 30. All the hash code for 10 percentile 10, 20 percentile 10 and 30 percentile 10 is 0. So does that mean the three objects having the same hash code that is 0 are always equal? Answer is no. See they are not even equal. They are stored in a linked list format. So answer is no. It's not necessary that two objects having the same hash codes are always equal. Because same hash code means objects are stayed in same bucket location. So if hash function is percentile 10 and keys like 20, 30 will have same hash code. Hence both will be stored at zero bucket location. Doesn't mean 20 and 30 are equal objects. That means while adding 20 it must be the first node in the linked list and the 30 will be the next node in the linked list.
or the tree at the bucket number 0 in hash table. If two objects are equal and their equals method returns true always, does that really mean the two objects will always have the same hash code? So example is you have an entry object here 20 with some value v1. Now you are trying to put again 20 with another value v2. Your equals returns true because you have overridden equals method perfectly fine and 20 equals 20. So will the hash code be the same? So 20 percentile 10 is 20, this 20 percentile 20, 10 is also 20, the hash code is always be returning as 0. If two objects are equal, for sure their hash codes will also be equal. So these two objects can return true only and only if they are stored in the same bucket location. First hash code method must have written the same hash code for the both objects. Then on that bucket location, equals is called, which returns you true and confirm the key objects are equal. So if object returns you true, that means for sure they will have the same hash code. Now I have so, so many questions to cover for the equals and hash code. If you want me to cover more of such questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll create the second part of this interview series. Thank you.